if f of x is equal to sin of step x upon step x where step x is not equal to 0 and if step x is equal to 0 it's a 0 function where square brackets denotes the greatest integer function that's a step function then limit x tends to 0 f of x is since it, the function is related to the step greatest integer function let us find its left limit and right limit as we know that greatest integer function is not defined in the integral values limit extends to 0 minus f of x which is equal to limit h tends to 0 f of 0 minus h that is f of minus h so we can substitute here limit h tends to 0 sine of step of minus h upon step of minus h since step of minus h is not equals to 0 so limit h tends to 0 sine of step of minus h divided by step of minus h we can write it as since we know that for 0 above 0 above 0 step function is 0 means for x lies between 0 and 1 step x is equal to 0 and for x lies between minus 1 and 0 step x will be negative 1 so step sine of step of minus h can be taken as sine of minus 1 divided by step of minus h here also we can add minus 1 so which is minus limit h tends to 0 sine of negative 1 is minus sine 1 upon negative 1 which is equal to sine 1 is the left limit now let's consider the right limit limit h tend x tends to 0 plus f of x is equal to limit h tends to 0 f of 0 plus h which is equal to limit h tends to 0 sin of step h divided by step h and since we know that as h tends to 0 means it's above 0 sin of step h as step x is equal to 0 for x lies between 0 and 1 so step h also will be 0 and when the function step x is 0 when the function step x is 0 it is given answer is 0 f of x is 0 so we can say that limit h tends to 0 sine of step h by step h which will be 0 since step h is equal to 0 so we can consider that left limit and right limit both are not equal so left limit is sin 1 is not equals to right limit that's 0 and hence we can say limit does not exist So you can go with an option D in none of this.